the boys have been building a homemade wind turbine from scraps salvaged from Burton's junkyard. You can't find a better resource pile than Burton's junkyard. He has everything out here. And they're waiting to see if their project will weather the storm. Damn, it's gotten cold, man. Well, let's put the alternator on tomorrow and get down. With the weather threatening the boys' safety, they'll have to wait until tomorrow to finish her up. Oh, yeehaw. Now that the storm's cleared, it's back to work. That thing was boiling like crazy last night. Yeah, it was. I'm glad that storm moved on through. All that the boys have left to do is strap on that car alternator and get her up on the roof. Man, I can't believe somebody came in and stole his batteries right off from under. Man, that sucks. Oh, no, that sucks, man. There's no way to really protect it. There's no gates, even. I can protect those batteries for him. I intend to take care of it as soon as we get this thing finished. What you got in mind? Oh, uh, this. Something shocking. <laughs> I like the sound of it. It just never stops with Eugene. Here we are about to finish up this battery charging system, and he's already got another idea on how to keep thieves out of here. Before Eugene can set up a security system for the batteries, they got to see if this wind turbine is a go. Let's carry it over there. All right, let's see if I can get somewhere on it. Right. Yeah, there's hardly any wind today, but it should be enough to turn it a little. Yeah, it'll work. All right. Small commercial wind turbines for home use generate about 15,000 watts per day. The boys' contraption won't be able to produce anywhere near that, but it won't have to. The electrical power needed to charge a 12-volt battery is approximately 1,275 watts. When you think about how much money it costs to charge all of Burton's batteries, it's amazing how much you'll be able to save from just a couple days' work out of Eugene and I. Got it? Thanks. Whoa. All right, let's lift this thing up there. I've got holes in the, in the rim of this bucket. We gotta tie this thing down so the wind doesn't blow it away. Here comes the wind, brother. Yeah, it looks like it's running good, nice and smooth. All we gotta do now is hook those wires up to the batteries down there and we'll be charging. Wind will turn the impeller fan, which will spin the belt that's attached to the alternator, creating an electric current. This current will travel down wires where jumper cables will be attached so the batteries can be charged. Charging a battery could take up to 12 hours. Right now it's working great and it's spinning. I think we can get some electricity out of it. Um, I think I got this hooked up right. But if you'll grab that anemometer and hook it up to those leads right there, we'll see if we're getting any voltage out of it. Oh, yeah. Well, we know we're making juice. You can come on down. Let's get this hooked up to the batteries. All right.